the Scratched on Saturday series. Hopefully you've been enjoying all of the other videos on the channel. And I'm so, so sorry for missing out four weeks, okay? Last week I went on vacation and all the weeks before that we had parties. It's summer for everyone. I can't stop these parties, okay? If they plan them, then there's nothing I can do about it. But it's also kind of my fault because I had time to make these videos, but they were very less. Like I had to wake up on like six or seven to actually make them. So the possibility was pretty low, you know, but it was still like very, very hard. So yeah, it's actually very, very like problematic. So I can't make that much videos. I'm really, really, really sorry for that. Now, the thing is, however, Scratch has started with the Scratch Camp things, which are basically a really cool program. And I thought I might introduce you guys to it because I was making, I was trying to make a couple of scratch camp submissions, but it really wasn't working out. And I tried to make my submissions a video about the submissions I was making, but that just didn't work out because like the submissions is like, it's way too hard to make it. Like I, I can't do that on camera because it takes way too long and you guys would probably be bored and you guys can't copy my ideas on that anyway. So it would probably just be stupid. But let's just say I was trying to use Bob and it really wasn't going well. And I tried to make a scratch cat cowboy version and all that. Julie wasn't working out. But the thing is, I don't think you guys know what Scratch Camp is yet. So I'll just do a quick recap. Now, I well, I was really excited for this, but then I already read everything. So I'll just show it for you guys. Let's click on Scratch Camp 2020 here. We're on the Scratch main page, if you didn't know. And as you can see here, we are, they say like, we're excited to announce the theme for Scratch Camp 2020, Scratch the Musical. They do this Scratch Camp every single year. I've been on Scratch for three years right now, and they've been releasing the Scratch Camp program every year since then. And in the camp, we will be making projects inspired by a series of Scratch the Musical prompts. At each stage of the camp, we will explore new ideas, and you will have the opportunity to build upon the work of others. The camp will run for three weeks, starting every Monday between August 10 and August 24, basically for 14 days. Each week, each week will build upon the week before, so be sure to stay tuned for more information. Until then, feel free to re remake the Scratch Camp teaser project and get to know your camp counselors in the backstage studio. Everyone is invited to join and we can't wait to see what we will create together. And... <laughs> What's... That was the, okay, I'm gonna try that again. I need to try to make a proper cat sound effect. That sounded like someone being tortured. Let's try again. Okay, that just looked like, that sounded like a cat, a cat that's vocal cords are just gonna be. One last try. Oh my God, I feel like the my parents downstairs are going to think I'm having a seizure and come upstairs I don't, I'm not going to do this anymore. This, I'm actually so bad. But the thing is, they released this new Scratch Camp thing that you can make your own projects about. So you can go to the Scratch Camp teaser project, look at it and see what you can do there and actually remix the project and implement your own stuff there. So it's very, very fun. You can join the Scratch Camp. And if you click on the Scratch main page, which is here, then you'll see that they've actually released Scratch Camp week one. And if you click here, they actually have like, you know, you can do stuff here. They they have a big explanation on what you can do here and stuff like that. I've been working on my own stuff for Scratch Camp, but unfortunately, that's off camera. I can't show that on the video because it's too tedious to show. And I've already made like so many videos trying to include it in, but it didn't work. And today, I also don't have a lot of time left because I was trying a lot. But anyways, basically, what we're going to be doing today is we have to continue working on our simulator. And today, what we're going to be doing in the simulator is actually we're going to include a character, the character that is going to mine all of the rocks. And we basically have to include the mechanism so that it can walk around, so that it isn't like in one place. So if we just click on see inside, then we can start our project from now on. Okay, accept. Where did the text go? I think, yeah, there, there's a, been a bug lately with the Scratch Vector Editor that stuff randomly go invisible. It's really, really strange, and I don't really like this bug. It's quite annoying, but there's nothing we can do about that. So let's just do, like, let's start a project, and let's click here, and, like, oh, my God, I, I still can't get over that. Okay, Rock Mining Simulator. Now, last, um, not last week, five weeks, no, yeah, 
four weeks ago we actually designed the rock spawning system which is quite fun this quite fun to make because but if you do look at the code now though we did use some complex code to make it you know but it was a lot of fun making it because you know like we have this little pixel art and stuff like that in this episode i actually want to allow scratch cat to walk around he won't be able to mine like mine it yet uh, uh, he will he won't be able to mine all of the rocks yet we could do that if we have enough time which i really don't have today but the like, scratch cat will at least try to give him the mechanism so that he can walk around with the wasd keys or like just arrow keys so that he can walk around with stuff like that it's very very easy to make don't worry it's going to take you like three seconds well not three seconds it might take you 45 minutes based on i mean not 45 minutes but it will take that much like if i make a 20 minutes video it's gonna take you like 40 minutes because you have to pause write the code yourself understand what i'm saying and like ask your parents or someone for help so it's probably gonna take you more time than it does for me on the camera and I hope this video will actually help you because I've been noticing that not a lot of people have been looking at my videos entirely. And of course some people are. I mean, I know Moss is out there watching this video. But I know that other people aren't like watching this video. I mean, look, there's some people are watching it from scratch and stuff. But most people on my channel don't actually watch. I have I know have a lot of parent as parents as friends, but nobody seems to show their kids these videos. And I'm not sure if, if it's because of the screen time or anything. Which if it's like that, I'm not gonna interfere. You can like treat your kids the way you want. But um, at least like Scratch is a very interesting program, and if they are if they enjoy games, then they can do something useful and educational instead of just trying and like imagining and you know going too far so instead of that they can just do stuff like intellectually like that which will also help a lot with it so now i'm actually going to like get scratch cat out of this right sprite library and if you don't know how to do that you basically hover over the little cat icon here click on the search area and then we just look for scratch cat or dear heavenly object scratch cat what would we do without Scratch Cat, guys? Comment down below what you would do without Scratch Cat and like, or in Facebook comments. I have my little doll here. I'll probably try to include this doll in my next Thursday Tales vlog. <laughs> it's very, very cute, and I'm just picking it up because to symbol symbolize it with Scratch Cat. It's right next to me, right here. So it might come in my next Thursday Tales video or just my next vlog in general if the doll's relevant. But I don't think I'm going to be making a video just about this doll. Even though I have a lot of stories about him. I think this is already done. Oh no, he fell. Okay. I have a video to, and I'm getting distracted these days a lot. Okay, let's just start making the video. I don't have a lot of time, so we have to go for it. So let's just go to costumes and like, let's take like, no, not costumes. <laughs> let's go to cat and like, let's actually select when green flag click. And then we'll go to control and include a forever. Because they told this a, a few videos ago. If you're going to put if statements or if else statements. If then else statements in your like code. Then the thing is it will only check for the single nanosecond after project starts. And it's impossible for a human to do anything in that space of time. So like we should include a forever in here. So that like it keeps checking every nanosecond to see if a human like is doing or triggering the if then else. So only if that's true will it actually work. And otherwise it won't. Okay. So I'm going to drink some water before this goes on. Because I'm going to be talking for a while. And as you guys know I've been taking a couple of takes. And I'm really thirsty. Just wait for a second though right. Okay, 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 I'm back. I, I drank my water and now we can actually go on with the video. Okay, so in this forever loop, we're going to be including a code so that Scratch Cat is that can actually walk around. But of course, I'm not going to let him walk above here. So we should also like make a precaution so that he cannot go above here. And for that, we actually need to like, you guys still know that like little code we did to make sure like he didn't go above here so we should do that same thing with here so we need to like make sure like he doesn't like scratch cat doesn't go above y170 because 
y minus 70 is like the max to where he can go and above that he cannot like go because otherwise it will just keep on going and you know that's not good because we want we ascribe i mean i don't think cats can walk in the sky all right and i don't want to make my cat walk in the sky in our project okay that will just not be good so let's just go here and let's just include uh, like four if statements that's right four if statements if then if then if then if then and why we are including four if statements is because first of all we're going to have four arrow keys or w a s d keys to make scratch move around so we need to do like right arrow key go right and left arrow key go left or w w key go front and stuff like that you know so we should really like we're going to it's going to be like you know, it, it's like we need to include these four if statements or like we can't do everything in one if statement because that will be really long code. And let me just tell you, long horizontal codes can make your project very laggy. I wouldn't recommend it at all. And it's also very hard because if you're going vertically, then you can just scroll down. But if you're going horizontally, you can't actually do it with your mouse because it takes a very long time, especially if you're on Safari, scratch is sometimes very slow. So you actually have to like go like this, like you, you, you really like and that's very annoying okay so it's better to build your code vertically rather than horizontally because otherwise it will be a big problem so if um let's just take a look on or because you guys as you guys know we're including wasd keys and arrow keys so it's supposed to be going in both directions and our character won't be able to jump here because scratch cat is going to walk here okay he's going to like walk in this area and if he jumps it will look as if he's walking in this area because our project is kind of like a 3d one if you guys understand like the pathway is going like this like the floor and the like sky are in like practically the same height it, it is not 3d so the problem with not 3d is we can't like in 3D, you can jump, but in 2D, you can't jump. As simple as that, you can't jump in 3D. Like, I mean, no, I'm saying it wrong. Okay, so in 3D, you can jump because there's like three-dimensional, like not just the background and the people, like the background and the people on it, but there's like three dimensions, like the floor, the sky, and the like wall step of thing. But here we only have the sky and the floor. So we can't let him jump here because the problem with this is, like we, you, you can't if you like if you're walking around here if you like we're going to use the same code for jumping as for walking and that won't good but won't look good because you, you you don't know whether he's walking or whether he's jumping so we won't be including jumping but maybe in the next episode we could do something that when he hits this place then he gets to jump like then he gets the opportunity to jump or whenever he jumps in like here we'll make like a 3d effect that he zooms in and comes back so that he's jumping towards the sky and coming back like like we'll give it 3d effect even if it's not 3d and i know that sounds weird but we can test around you know this is a, these are tutorial projects and tutorial projects the thing about them is i learn and you guys learn too because i learn how to speak and how to like i also learn a lot of new blocks because while i'm with you guys i find i accidentally find some cool new functionalities and like you guys also learn because obviously these are tutorials that you learn from so obviously it's really cool but moving on to the video again let's include like let's click on operators and include like this or or this like into our if statement and if you didn't know what or is basically like there are statements like let's click on sensing it there's like touching mouse pointer which is basically if you click on it it will say false because scratch cut is not touching the mouse pointer and of course touching color pink then scratch cut is not touching pink so it says false but or or will basically like if if this or this is true then so basically if you put touching mouse pointer or touching pink then it will run which means that if scratch cut is touching the mouse pointer then it can happen but it can also happen when it's touching the pink color it doesn't have to be both of them it can also just be one of them but of course both of them is also applicable so the or a block is very very useful so in our case we're basically going to use the key press like because the key w and the key like the up arrow can both be used for making scratch cat walk so if we put key w first because a lot of people tend to use w but i'm using it as a t keyboard right now i usually use qwerty but 
today because of this computer i'm using uh, azuti but because of that i'm going to put w here and then here up arrow and if you look now and then here and if you look now if you if you click on w then this has to run but it has, doesn't have anything to run yet so it isn't working and speaking of which i should probably hide him first so i go and click and hide so that he doesn't show up in the beginning and then like whenever like um <laughs> how am i speaking like this okay switch to backdrop okay so when when backdrop switches to backdrop what backdrop is this because the backdrops in our projects are confusing yep backdrop one is the next one so we just go when backdrop card changes to backdrop one forever then we'll just do something like repeat like we can set the brightness we if you learn this guys like we set the brightness effect to minus 100 and then we just do repeat oh yeah we have to show it first okay show set brightness effect to minus 100 repeat 100 change brightness effect by one and then here we just include like uh we just put one there okay so now we just include this and then actually and then actually like if you want to like do this like i'm going to put this in a separate one because like this is going to be a big code and i don't want to mix it up with some other codes that are unrelated so i'm going to keep this separate over here to like backdrop one actually we don't want him to be moving around when he's still when his bright brightness is still going up so i'm gonna do a broadcast here so like broadcast um message two and whenever like he receives this code receives message two then you know because this basically prevents like when the it would be annoying if like the code ran while the brightness is going up so to prevent that we basically broadcast a message and whenever this receives the message start running we could however just attach the code here and you could do that too if you want i'm just doing this because it will be easier for me to navigate and it's just not all mixed up with brightness codes and code code but of course you can do you you can like keep it in the same code rock mining simulator game by nami so if i click here then like goes up and then like we can see if it works okay so now like you, as you can see the code became yellow after the brightness went up so it is working but the thing is we want him to like go up when we click on y or key up arrow so let's just like i don't know if you guys knew you guys obviously know but y means up i've told you guys this before so if like y then it means that the character is going up so if we just use like if you go to motion and use change y by 3 then whenever we click w or the up arrow then the y will change by 3 which means scratch cut is going to go up and speaking of which i'm going to make scratch cut like 50 no not 50 that's too small we'll make it like 75 because compared to all of this scratch cut has to be small or it will be really hard to like you know slowly start like navigating you know i don't know if you guys know what i mean but the thing is it's going to be hard to make him to like wait how are the like compared to all of this like the the rocks need to be like small like as big as scratch cut because the thing is if he's like big like that will make him seem like a giant and like we also need him to move slowly because otherwise the game would be challenging to go to every rock if it's that big then you can just go there in a second but if it's like this then it's still it will still be fast but it'll be somewhat like not as easy so let's just test if it works for now we can click here the text is still invisible that's starting to get more disturbing rather than annoying now okay and yes it's working however our character does go above the screen which no it uh, goes above the grass which we can't stop now we'll include a code for that later but it does like it was it's working that's the good part like the code is working and that's what's important so now we're going to do the s key or the down arrow key which will make him go down so that he doesn't keep on going into the sky so we just put another this is pretty easy guys now you guys are getting hang of this we just put an or key s pressed we just scroll down to find the s and then we just do or key where is it down arrow pressed so if you look now 
um oh my god stop okay now if we go down then hmm, okay good we need to make a coach that he spawns back it shouldn't be too hard we can do that easily so now for some reason it isn't working i don't know why but hmm. maybe we should actually bring him back maybe that won't have fix Ah yes, okay. So we basically got stuck because he was like, "Oh wait, I'm so dumb. We didn't include the code for what should happen when he go." Oh my god. Okay. So if you don't change like Y, actually there is no code for going down. X is horizontal and Y for up. So what we should do now is change Y by minus three. So it goes down by minus three whenever you click on like S or down arrow or something like that. So let's just start now. <laughs> I really want that to get fixed soon. I really don't like how that's looking. Okay. So now normally, yes, yes, our code is working. Now we can go up and down. And don't worry, I know it doesn't look like he's walking because we it like the animation is really bad. But now we fix soon enough. I'm like working on like codes for that and stuff. That should be fixed pretty soon. You don't worry about that. Me, that will be fixed. So. Now, actually, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be including the right and left going in. Okay, but first we have to like include the code like this. Like now we just put go to minus one ninety two or my actually that should be at the beginning so that he doesn't like when the brightness is going he shouldn't randomly teleport like keep him here. Okay, neat. That way he spawns in the right area and he doesn't just go there the moment the project starts. So if Let's include another or and an or here, and we just include key. Um, okay, key. W A makes him go left, right, and check. A or like what's the time now? Okay, okay. Key A pressed or basically like left arrow pressed. Then he'll go to the left side. So we just do. Change x by. Hmm. Actually, we're going to do not w a s, like a though. Um. You know, what, let's do it. Okay, so let's just do like minus three because it has to go like left, and then now it should normally work. We just test it out. I don't care about the button anymore. I'm getting used to it. Do pretty. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yay! It's working. Yay! 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 Yay, okay, 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 that's too far, Scratch Cat, you have to come down right now, okay, so it's working now, oh my god, okay, why is he going below again, okay, so now, we can include the last part, which is basically how Scratch Cat is going to the right, okay, that's good, that was easy enough, I think you guys can agree that that was pretty easy, nothing to worry about, Okay, I've been in this room for one hour now because I've been making so many clips. No big deal. No big deal. <laughs> okay, change x by three, and now we have all directions covered. How nice. Okay, let's just come here. See if it works. Um. Okay, now our scratch cat is probably moving everywhere. This is nice. This is very nice. You can also, I really love that you can like control the way, but the thing is, I want him to like look, like when we go left, I want his face to be in the left direction, when we go right, I want it to be in the right direction, this is pretty easy to do, we just have to come here, and then we have like, point in direction, first we have to set our rotation stuff to left, right, and not like, that's, it doesn't have to be don't rotate all around, because that's going to break the project, but point in direction 90 is what it should be when like, it's going like to the right. But it should be minus 90 when it's going in like the opposite direction. I think. I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure it should be minus 90. If you look now. Hmm. Okay. Actually, no. I'm not actually going to use like. If you click here, then it automatically shows like a little mirror. And if you click here, I can. I'm going to use this mirror. Hmm. Okay, great. It, it, is, it is minus 90. Just a little hard. So now, if we just use this, and then you can look at the project, then it actually like goes. I'm pretty sure. Like if you look here, yes, yes. Okay, so now it looks in. It turns its face to that direction when you move it around. Very, very, very simple. Okay. Now that we've done that, I think that it's about time. 
that we do something so that it looks as if it's looking up and i don't know how to do that probably the code is still to hit a bit so first things first we need to like we need to make our first animate okay so like like it moves like whenever it's running here it looks as if it's actually moving you know and the thing for that is we're going to use a new section a new se what section my blocks what this nami what why are you randomly bringing in this pink colored my block section let's just leave this so you have your own blocks in the scratch editor like the when green flag click and the when space key press like stuff like that you know the usual blocks but what if you can make your own blocks i know it's very surprising but let's create and make a block and see how it works and or name your block animate and don't worry about all of these buttons we'll get they're too complex and we'll get to them in a future episode don't worry about them yet but make like a block called animate and then make sure it runs through the screen refresh or if the project will lag if you just click on animate and then you have this little define animate thing here which is really weird what is this what is this what, what is define animate basically you can include like little little like code under it so if you do like switch backdrop and you in put a lot of code under it then you can go to my blocks and click on animate and as you can see it's slowly switching to the brightness is coming back because when backdrop switches to backdrop one the brightness has to come up so it follows that command so animate is basically like define blocks if you define animate and put like code under it then this block will do everything that is under here and this is a really convenient block and we're using it now because it will be really messed up if we just include the big animation code in here so we can just put the block in here whenever we animate our thing so what we want now is basically that like scratch cut like runs and like walks and runs and walks and runs and walks whenever he like does like the walking thing so what we basically do now is we basically just do scratch switch custom to scratch and a and then wait zero one seconds because he's switching costumes he, he switches to cat a and then in zero point one seconds he switches to cat um you just say cat b yeah it's cat b i forgot the name for a second so now that we have cat um wait where did he go i think i should edit Restore costume. Okay, he's back now. Cause how do you know? How, I don't know how he got deleted. I probably did it. I should probably watch the clip again to remember. Okay, so now that we have the animate defined block, we could probably get my blocks and get animate here and also animate here. So it probably looks like he's running around. And I hope this will work. I don't. I really don't know if it will. So now when we start the project, let us start. Let's get this animate out of the way. Clean our blocks. Okay. I really hope. <laughs> yes, it's a bit laggy because la because of the time it's going, you know. Yeah, it's a little laggy because like maybe we should do like uh, not wait. Maybe we should just do it. Like. But the thing is, that will be like really, really, really short. I don't know if that will work too. No, it's like constantly changing and you can't even see the change because as I said, it become, it happens in like one nanosecond and therefore it's like very hard to see. But what we could do is like we could do like switch costume to A, we can get rid of this animate because like we don't need it right now. We can get rid of the animates because we don't need a, a defined block for this. Now I think about it and then we just include like switch costume here and then we do switch costume here. And this is, easy, this is just an easy fix because now he like on the normal and whenever it's over he turns into something else. Like I hope this actually works. I really hope. Now it still doesn't work because of the time it like happens. So like we can do. I'm just going to try this but this will make the project probably lag a bit. You know that's why I'm not doing it like hmm. Okay, now if you look, mm -hmm, it is, you can like see it happening, but it's still like, that's not very like, okay, this is really going to lag out, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to see, but like, I am like, not sure, okay, now, just look at the way, and then like, 
Yeah, see, it, it becomes really slow. So I don't think we can do the animation yet, very sadly, because it's too hard and it's too laggy. But I'll figure something out be before the next episode, you know, just so it works. And I'll make sure that there's something we can do about that. But for now, it just this is how it should be, you know. Nothing we can do. I'm also going to point them in um, like direction 90 because otherwise they'll be like really, 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 really not cool. If you like, because if he's looking that way, and that way side is the most like on the right side is more space. So we should let him look in the right side and not something else. Also, this video has been going on for 30 minutes. I don't, I only have like, okay, I have 50 minutes time. Nothing to worry about. I can make this video much more. Okay. Start um, project. I don't know why I stopped it and then started it again. Don't ask. I'm losing my mind. I've been in this extremely hot room for a long time. Okay. Okay, so we have this basic animation at least. And that does mean that we have it walking. The only thing is we need to prevent him from going past there. So that's one thing that we can do quickly here. If um, we can do um, an equal block, go to motion. If Y position equal to, you can go to a rock, check it's minus, it's 250. So if it goes above 250, then, then we change Y by minus three. So this is gonna be like basically a, a project. It's gonna be like pushing us back. It's gonna be like a little boundary right there. You can't, you can't go above it. It's gonna be quite annoying to look at, I think. But just think it doesn't work after everything I've set up. <laughs> I knew it. I knew. I, I called for. I knew things like things like that always. It it, it will inexplicably happen whenever you do stuff like that. So basically, we need to find a better fix for that, which won't be too hard. I hope. La, 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 now I, I don't know like if it reaches or goes above this it probably shouldn't like go or it can just oh yeah now i have an idea let's just like create your own sprite and then let's make like a line here that's right and now we can just take this line but it's okay. <laughs> it's so hard to take okay Okay, I got it, but then I left it. Well, how dumb am I? It just needs to leave for a second here. I need to make it bigger. That's my final decision. Okay, no, 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 stop, stop. Okay, okay now I just go and like click here. And make it slightly bigger because this is not good. This is not good. Oh my God, it's going on. It's so big, it's getting off my screen. Okay. I know I'm speaking really weird, but I've lost my mind officially, okay? Um, okay, good. Now we have just like that. We just set, like, when clicked, set ghost effect to 100 so that nobody can see this. Uh, I sound so cringe, but I'm losing my mind. Okay. It's too hot. But anyways, do that. Then we have this invisible line here, okay? Invisible line we'll call it in this line and we'll come to cat i mean scratch let's change it to scratch cat and then if it touches like if touching in this line oh yeah the reason i'm putting the ghost effect 200 is if we hide the in this line then it won't be able to touch it anymore but it, yeah we want it to be invisible so if we set the ghost effect 100 it will still be invisible but you won't be able to like touch it because if it's hidden then it just goes away but if it is ghost effect then only as an effect and it doesn't it doesn't completely gone away so that's why i used ghost effect it didn't just make the like in this line invisible so if touching mouse pointer we include um <coughs> Oh my god. If, if touching, not mouse pointer actually, if touching in this line, and this would be called rock, not rock, I just realized that. We come to scratch cat, and now we just, if touching in this line, I really hope this works. Change y by minus 10. Please, please. 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 Yes. Yes, 
yes, yes, yes. It can't go above. The only thing is, however, that you can't see it getting knocked back. And I want <laughs> that <laughs> they be able to see that. Okay, okay. Um, now, they, I want them to be able to see the, this character getting knocked back. Because, like, yeah, because that will be really funny. Okay. Yeah, as you guys can see, it's getting knocked. I, I know that seems glitchy, but it's kind of funny, you know, just a funny touch to the first. So basically, you can't go, you don't have rights to the sky, my dear friend. So basically, that's what this video is about. How to make Scratch Cat move. And I, and I'm going to uh, document how, the, I'm going to add more pixel art for the pickaxes next episode. And I'm, I'm going to try to, okay. I don't know if I can contact my pixel artist, but I do know some new pixel artists now that might be able to help me out. So please, 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 please let me know if you enjoyed this video. And please let me know if you have any comments and say it in Facebook comments. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you learned something because I spent a lot of time trying to get this video straight. And yeah, we've included a lot of walking mechanisms in this one. And I know, yeah, th that should go away because I don't want, okay, actually, it can stay that way. When green flag is clicked, it will go invisible again. So it doesn't really matter. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something new. I, I mean, it's really not that big of a deal just making a character walk, but it will help us in our simulator game and like, Next episode, we'll get the pickaxe and the mining. So that'll be come. That'll come really, really soon. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Please come back every Saturday to see the new Scratch It on Saturday videos. And please like the video and subscribe because if you like the video, it will get mixed more in the algorithm and more people who are interested in programming will also get to see the video. And if you want to make big, big games like Roblox and Minecraft, you can just immediately jump there. You have to slowly start from the basics. So don't just go away because you you hate the basics. This is where you start. And if you don't start here you can't just immediately jump to like roblox or minecraft programming so that's the place you start please subscribe so you don't have to manually come every saturday to check my videos please like so it gets mixed in the algorithm and more people can see it and you know the usual um it's not just me nami i we are not doing this alone it's us scratchers okay okay the heat the heat the heat uh, I hope this is a good outro. Um, heat.